Philadelphia Phillies hosting the Arizona Diamondbacks, and the D-backs are plus 160. The Phillies are minus 190, and you can see that there's a slight difference between what I just said and the number that's up there above me. The over-under is at 8.5. The D-backs getting a run and a half are minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Phillies laying a run and a half are plus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. I suggest you use a site like Vegas Insider, it lets you pick all the games, all the sports. It's free, and it, you can compare the casinos online and in person to see who's got the best value for you. Now, Bumgardner pitched twice against the Phillies last year. Eight innings, one run, one earned. They won 6-2. Five innings, five runs, five earned. They lost 7-4. And Wheeler pitched once against the D-backs also last year. Six and two-thirds, six runs, six earned, and they lost that game 6-2. The D-backs are on a one-game losing streak overall, while the Phillies are rolling after they fired Joe Girardi, and they're on an eight-game winning streak. Head-to-head, -head, the Phillies are on a five-game winning streak against the D-backs. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their past 10. The team getting or laying runs are 5-5 five and five in their past 10. The over is 5-4-1. That's what the casino sets it at, so there was one push. And the over 8.5 specifically, or over under 8.5, is 5-5, five and five, so coin toss there. Looking at these pitchers' stats, they're pretty much identical. I mean, Wheeler is just striking out more batters and giving up less home runs. I'm going to take Phil the Phillies with the money line, the D-backs with the runs, and I'm going to go over. Neither one of these pitchers, with the exception of Bumgarner, in one appearance, have really pitched well against the other team. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong.